こんにちは、バイスのトモです。今回紹介するのはですね、マンチーズという食べ物の番組からですね、選びました。えー、エディーワンという台湾料理のオーナーなんですが、ニューヨークにバオハウスというお店を持っていて、それバオというですね、パンにいろんな肉とかを挟んで出す、台湾風料理、屋台料理ですね、そのお店です。えー、まあ食べ物もすっごい美味しそうでもうよだれ出ちゃうって感じなんですけどまあそのオーナーのエディワンに注目してください彼の語り口やばいですどうぞあああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ The best. Mm. My name is Eddie Wong. The name of my restaurant is Bao House, and we serve like Taiwanese style street food. Bao just means like bun or bread in Chinese. Everybody has variations on pork bun, but I was like, yo, let's take a step back and do the OG shit. The real authentic Taiwanese way that we've been doing since the 50s. So I wanted to red cook the pork and topping it with the peanuts and sugar and cilantro, like how we do in Taiwan, and it just really took off. It's not like my mission in life was to like open a bao restaurant. This was kind of the item that made the most sense. It's portable, it's like the Asian answer to a taco. The names for the baos are cool, like, You know, the original is named after Chairman Mao because Mao's from Hunan, and my technique for the red cooked pork belly is from Hunan, the province. That's, that's where my family's from. And then we got the birdhouse bao. It's chicken. The inspiration for that was Robin Givens because she's the biggest bird in the world. Hate that bitch. Ruin Mike Tyson. So, yeah, we're gonna go hang out with、uh, Detective Max Kosterman. He always sounds like he's interrogating people. What do you got for breakfast? Don't put that on the s The other dude is Simonez Wolf, Chef Sez. I know Sez from the door at LeBan. He's always clowning motherfuckers outside, not letting anybody in. He's a funny cat. This motherfucker, the latest one. Man. What's wrong with you? You all know Emil. He like produced Runaway, he produced Lana Del Rey's new album. We honestly, we should just eat it. t h e fucking that new pot pie. That new KFC pot pie is the moves. Really, we all just hang out and we like to eat. So, we're gonna go eat at Nanshang, Shanghai style breakfast. Mommy, mommy. After you, Mr. Jimenez. Alright, so Flushing is an interesting neighborhood because a lot of people feel like the best Chinese food comes from Taiwan. After the revolution, most Chinese master chefs fled to Taiwan. They came to New York, set up shop in Flushing. Well, you, you know, well, like, first restaurant we went to was Nanshang Shou Gong Bao. They do the best Shanghainese breakfast I've had in New York, hands down. Oh, deep bow, deep bow, deep bow. That's a dismissive one. Roll jia bing, ma. Lai liang ge niu roll jia bing. Niang zhe hao. You think like Chinese breakfast and everybody just assumes dim sum. But dim sum is like a Cantonese thing, like southern China on the coast. A lot of the rest of the eastern coast of China, people like to eat soup dumplings, hot soy milk, crullers. Like these are dishes that you don't usually see in the American canon of Chinese food. So I like people to see it because that's what I grew up eating. I'll tell you what, man.、Sweet's、Homemade、good. fresh soy milk, people、so、don't even game understand over, kid. Game over. how incredible it is. This is a beef scallion pancake. It's one of my favorite dishes. This dish, it's beef and tripe together, spicy oil. But、um, the folk name for it is Fu Chi Fei Pian, husband and wife platter. Try that? Now, soup dumpling 101. I'm going to show you this. You see a lot of goons poking holes right in the top. Hooligans.、Yeah. This is what you do. Soup dumpling gets a sauna. You put it in the vinegar, let it chill out, maybe 30 seconds to a minute, it'll cool. Then you eat it. This is the only way to do it. You do it any other way. Don't be a hooligan. Don't be a fucking hooligan. While eating all right? soup dumpling. Yeah. And you see all、I、these motherfuckers on Facebook, wow,、well, my favorite food is soup dumplings. And they're like poking them like this. Dude, respect, respect the dumpling. Respect. 
Don't can I do this? Don't this be a fucking hood. I don't know. I don't that know. That looks like some crazy French that shit. Looks Go like ahead. French, a bit of a French head. See, I should host a show teaching people how to do this called So You Think You Want to Be a Chinaman. So you think you can. So you think you can Chinaman. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Grasshopper. Oh, and then after that, we went to probably the best Cantonese restaurant in, in any of the five boroughs, Imperial Palace. I got the crab on rice, seafood on pan fried noodles, I got a little fried grouper, I think we're good. Is that a lot of fans? It's a lot of fans. What do you say? It's a lot of fans. So Max was being extra difficult. Like I usually don't go to a restaurant and order like all fucking shellfish dishes. But I asked Max what he wants. He goes, oh, lobster. I'm like, son, we're getting Dungeons Crab. You still want to get lobster? He's like, I, I only want to eat lobster. He wants lobster. He's going to be yeah, difficult when he gets fucking lobster. I just want to try that Cantonese style. How difficult? I thought you were difficult. This guy's I'm fucking difficult. difficult. I thought you were difficult. No, this he's difficult. Most, I mean. This guy. I'm not this difficult. Guy. I'm, just, I'm just proper. We got only shellfish. That's some baller shit. We only order shellfish. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Cheers, guys. And we got a Dungeness crab over sticky rice there. So they take a live Dungeness crab, butcher it live, take the top off. They'll take sticky rice, then they'll throw it in the wok a little. Then it goes on top of lotus leaves into a bamboo steamer. Game over. That's probably the illest dish out there in any restaurant in New York right now. All right, go ahead, go ahead, Emil. You go in, go dig in, Emil. This is the best part. See, inside the brain, that yellow shit. Get up in the brains. This shit is the best. So this is a steamed oyster with XO sauce, chili oil, dried scallop, all kinds of good stuff. And then the fried rice dish that we had was a saltfish fried rice. The protein that you see in there is diced chicken bits, but the flavor for that fried rice is coming from saltfish. And I think I just said fried rice. <laughs> that chinglis just pops its head up sometimes. It's so ugly. Oh, here we go. Oh. I want you to take a photo with your lobster. <laughs> Yo. If people knew Sig was like geeking out, taking food photos like that, like I don't think he can control any door in the city because he stunts on everyone. He like the coolest guy you know, but now he's like got his Yelp on, like fucking taking photos of food for his vlog. So it's a funny dynamic, all of us, man. But we don't give a fuck. Like we'll geek out over shit. I mean, we just we act a fool anywhere we go. You see, we act a fool. After Imperial Palace, Emil pussied out. He didn't want to go to the baths. You come in? Wanna go? No, definitely not. No. So then we went to the Russian baths, just sweat it out, because we felt gross from all that food. Yeah. How are you, Simonis? Yeah. We are here at the Russian baths right now. Oh, wow, Thank gangster. You. Max was in there. A bunch of dudes with no drawers on eating a pear. Definitely, let the streets know that's Max's shit. See, he was eating the fucking pear. You see him eating the fucking pear? It's like no better place to eat a pear than in a locker room full of naked dudes. Yo, I like to just get blazed and sweat. Like, it's kind of cool. It's the perfect thing to do high because you don't have to think about anything. Like, your mind is just consumed with fucking sweating and you feel like you worked out. Feel like you burned some calories even though you did it. So, you know, we just fucking go to the baths. Look at this shit. Some intense negotiations going on here at the baths. Max, the price is listed, man. The prices are listed. 
Max is always fucking negotiating with people. He don't ever want to pay full price for anything. Like he go to Chipotle and fucking negotiate if he could. This plug, I want one more round on the house next time. These Persian come. people are the cheapest. Yeah, but he knows how to steal. Three times. Next he time does. Come. Just take another photo here of him. Put it up. This man steals. Stealing. Stealing <laughs> membership. Stealing <laughs> memberships. Tomorrow, All right. Good take good care. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, good luck. So after, after we went to the baths, you know, we just had the munchies and we were like, what could we make? We're gonna go to Bauhaus and gonna make uh, fried bao ice cream sandwiches. It's gonna be good. It's this way. You lost? You guys are lost? What happened? No. <laughs> neighborhood watch. Damn, the you neighborhood just, you just stunned on him in front of his girl, yo. Yeah? We stealing, we stealing shorties tonight? We stealing shorties? All right, we're gonna make this. Drop eight bows in the fryer. Is this what you sell or just like what you guys No, nah, just for fun. You want oh, really? one? We'll make yeah. one for you. Can I have one? Yeah, we'll make you one. Oh. No problem. Can I have one too? <laughs> Had them fried bows with the red bean paste, a little shiso leaf, all the finest greenery. And then uh, vanilla ice cream or green tea ice cream, depending on what your flavor is. Oh, delicious. Here you go, Sim. You want ice cream sandwiches? All right, come get it. Don't be shy. Y'all scared of ice cream sandwiches? I'm a little confused about this. Yeah, what are you confused about? It's fucking ice cream and fried bows. So there to be a confused about. We're gonna feed the streets right now, everybody. <laughs> like a soup kitchen for yeah, ice cream. Yeah, it's a soup kitchen. This is an ice, ice cream soup kitchen. Here soup you go. Kitchen. Enjoy, man. <laughs> Yeah, man, motherfuckers love free shit. They like anything free, man. I could have taken shit in a bow, I love it. See, this high munchy shit, it doesn't need to be pretty. It just needs to be delicious. It's a fucking recession to feed people. I'm gonna run on this platform, ice cream. If your platform can be like, no, you cannot use plan B, I'll be like, I'm a nice guy. I want you to eat ice cream and use plan B.